Luke 2, 7. And she brought forth her firstborn son, wrapped him in a swaddling cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. So he started out as a baby, didn't he? He didn't come in, he didn't land here as an adult. And as a root out of dry ground, he has no form or comeliness. Philippians 2 7. 2 7. But he made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men. He didn't make himself to be anything special. He always played it down, right? And when we see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected by men. Luke 4, 28. As they heard these things about God's grace to these two Gentiles, the people of the synagogue were filled with a great rage. <clears throat> and they got up and drove him out of the city and led him to the crest of the hill on which their city had been built in order to hurl him down the cliff. You think that was rejection? <laughs> they were going to put him to death, but he slipped away, didn't he? Yeah, it wasn't his time. I believe that was a little rejection. It's That's when he stood up and said, the, this scripture has been fulfilled in your ears today. Mm -hmm. yeah, who do you think you are? Isn't this Mary's son? Yeah, so they let him out to the cliff. They're going to toss him off? I think that's a little bit of rejection. <laughs> A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. Luke 19.41. Alright, you can slow down and speak up. <laughs> and when he was come near, he beheld the city and wept over it. He was full of grief. Uh, he came. You know, I, 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 I wanted to gather you just like a hen gathers his chickens, but you, you didn't want it. You rejected me. All right, has anybody got Mark 14, 50? I don't I think it's, uh, Did I leave you out, Ralph? I did. Mark 14, 50. 14, 50. Yeah. Is that we'll a new testament? <laughs> Mark 14, 50. What did you, what did you say? Is that the New Testament? Uh, Fourteen fifty mm -hmm. says, then they all forsook him and fled. Okay. He was despised and he did not esteem him. All right, I need starting with you, Debbie. Luke sixteen, Luke Luke six seventeen. Ralph. First Peter two twenty four. Look that one up for me, please. 322. 1 Peter 224. 224. Debbie. Uh, Matthew 2741. Jeffrey. 2333. Luke 2333. Andrea. Colossians 120. Teachers. Colossians. I, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear because it's Chastis. Colossians 120. Thank you. Chasta, Matthew 27, 26. He was despised that we did not esteem him. Surely he has borne our griefs. Someone have Luke 16, 6, 17. Is that you, Ralph? No. No. I have Luke 6, 17. That's it. After coming down with them, he stood on a level place with a large crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea and Jerusalem and from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon. Hmm. Read that again, please. What would you say? Read it again, please. Okay. After coming down with them, he stood on a level place with a large crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea. It must have, that doesn't sound like that, right? It didn't go with this. First Peter 2, 24, Ralph. Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, 
that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness. Okay, the last thing 17 must be, that's not correct. Surely he's borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. And that's 1 Peter 2, 24. Yet we esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Matthew 27, 41. Likewise. Slowly. <laughs> Likewise, also the chief priests, mocking him with the scribes and elders, said, Go ahead. Okay. He saved others, himself he cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross, and we will believe. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. But he was wounded for our transgressions, Luke 23:33. And when they were come to the place which is called Calvary, there they crucified him and the malefactors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. He was wounded for our transgressions and was bruised for our iniquities. Chastisement for our peace was upon him. Colossians 1 20. And by him to reconcile all things to himself, by him, whether things on earth or things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of his cross. And by his stripes we are healed. Matthew 27 26. So. So he set Barabbas free from them, but after having Jesus severely left, scourged, he handed him over to be crucified. He was brutally beaten for our healing. So he set Barabbas free for them. Okay. As you recall, what did Pilate do? He beat Jesus severely and brought him out. And they brought Barabbas up and said, Choose who you want. Set free. And who did they choose? Barabbas. Barabbas. Okay. No matter which person they chose, they were choosing the son of the father. That's right. Because, because, because Barabbas. Barabbas is Bar Abba. Bar is son. Bar Mitzvah. Bar Jonah. Simon, you're Bar Jonah, son of Jonah. Mm-hmm. Bar is son. Abba <laughs> is what? Abba. Abba. Son of the Abba. father. Son of the father. Bar Abba. Barabbas is means son of the father. Wow. See, we don't, Gentiles, since we don't know the Hebrew, it goes right over our heads. They were choosing the Son of the Father, either Jesus or Barabbas, one or the other. It's just another little freak in there for you. Okay. Okay, back to you, Debbie. Okay. First John four ten. Ralph. Matthew twenty seven twelve. Brother Debbie, John one twenty nine. <coughs> Jeffrey, John eighteen thirteen. Andrea, Matthew twenty-seven thirty-five. Okay. Chasta, Matthew twenty-seven fifty-seven. Okay. And we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. First John four ten. Okay. All right. Back to the front, Revelation. 
love consists in this, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Yes, he satisfied that requirement. He laid on him the iniquity of us all, and then by him we get uh, forgiveness of all that. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. Matthew 27, 12, Ralph. And while he was being accused by the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. Nothing. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter. John 129. The next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him and saith, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And as a sheep before him, it shears is silent, so he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. John 18, 13. John 18, 13. Mm -hmm. And led him away to Annas first. And he was father-in-law to Caiaphas, which was the high priest the same year. We went to Israel. We were taken to where the, the house foundation of Caiaphas was discovered. They had built a church over top of it. And there was a chamber cut down in the stone, mm -hmm. hole about that big around, down into a, a chamber. And Christ was placed in that chamber overnight. You had to be lowered down with a rope. And there was no getting out. There's, you could not reach the hole from the floor. The rock was smooth all the way around. They had cut into it and put steps down to it. We were able to walk down and stand where Christ stood for night. And I busted out and bawled like a baby. That and was after the trial before he went to Herod, right? Yes. Wow. And I came out of there weeping because we read it. You remember what psalm that was, Myra? Oh gosh, they read a psalm and it just, oh. Didn't know that's where Jesus was that night, all by himself in the dark. Mm -hmm. Now dark is in the cave. That's how dark it was, but it was totally dark. Yeah. He spent the night there, cold in the dark, by himself. Hmm. You know, I, I couldn't, I, I came out of there weeping. Psalm 88. Would you read it? Would you want me to read it? Yeah. A song, a psalm for the sons of Korah to the chief musician upon Machalot. Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my cry, for my inner being is full of troubles and life draws near to the grave. I am counted with those who go down into the pit. I am like a man who has no strength, free among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom you remember no longer, and they are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the depths. Your wrath lies hard upon me, and you have afflicted me with all your waves, Selah. You have put away my acquaintance far from me, you have made me an abom abomination to them. I am shut up and I cannot come forth. My eye languishes my, by reason of affliction. 
I have called daily upon you. I have stretched out my hands to you. Will you do wonders for the dead? Will the ghosts rise and praise you? Selah. Will your loving kindness be declared in the grave? Your faithfulness in the place of destruction. Your wonders will be known in the dark and your acts of loving kindness in the land of forgetfulness. I have cried to you, Lord, and in the morning my prayer will go before you. Lord, why do you cast off my life? Why do you hide your face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer your terrors, I am distracted. Your fierce wrath goes be over me. Your terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like the water. They surrounded me together. Lover and friend, you have put far from me and my acquaintance into darkness. That's where he was that night. That psalm describes it to the team. There's just more of these prophecies. <clears throat> I have a question. Mm -hmm. So, when Isaiah wrote 53, um, how did that come to him? Was it like the Holy Spirit just gave him all those words, oh, yeah, or did he have a yes, did yes. he have like a dream, or did he did he know? Well, it doesn't he, spell it out that he had a dream, but we know that all Bibles is God breathed. And he wrote, he was writing this out. He didn't know what he was writing. I mean, well, that's what I wondered if he knew it was Jesus. Or if he or knew he, it, if he knew it was referring to the Messiah. Yeah. Probably, yeah, I would think so. As he wrote it out, you know, he he sees this. Yes. And why why would why would the Jews forbid their people from reading this if they didn't know what he was writing about? Mm -hmm. Do you think they not read that? I know they read that, but they don't do it publicly. But they read that. No, they're forbidden to, from reading. I don't believe that. Okay. I mean, that's true. What okay. you said is true. But if I were a Jew, and I'm looking at the Jewish people today. Well, I've talked to people, I believe you. Jewish I believe people that, that know about yeah. the Bible, and they said the Jews are forbidden to read in chapter Psalm 22 and Isaiah 53. They are forbidden to read that. They're instructed not to read it. How would that conversation go? Huh? How would that conversation with someone go? Just you know, pray read everything but like this. Yeah. Inquiring minds would say, and why can't I? That's why there's you know a lot of messianic Jews. You think I can't read it's the thing you want to read. That's why you got messianic Jews. I mean, you know. Jonathan Collins. We do have people converted because they did read that song that okay. could be. I can't see a lot. I mean, our nature is if we're told not to do something, we're going to do it, right? Yeah. You want to teach that. Exactly. I know I taught you that. We're going to, we want to break those rules. And what they try to Google it, and there's a saved spot on the safe search that keeps yeah. the best. Yeah. <laughs> you know? All right, where are we here? Um, yeah, right. All right, there. Okay, we're up here. I just said you read John 18, 13, right? Right. Okay. Right. It, it, and that was, he, who, he was taken from prison and from judgment. And who will declare his generation? For he was cut off from the land of the living. Matthew 27, 35. Then they crucified him and divided his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled, which is spoken by the prophet, the interesting prophet, I think David, to say it. They divided my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. Yeah, that was in Psalm 22, which we covered last week. By the prophet. For the transgressions of my people, he was stricken. That's also that same verse. And they made his grave with the wicked, but with the rich at his death. Matthew 27, 57. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. Continue. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus so that he might bury him. And Pilate ordered that it be given to him. And Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth, a burial wrapping, and laid it on his own new tomb, which he had cut in the rock, and 
rolled a large stone over the entrance of the tomb and went away. He was given a big man's tomb. And, and he was only borrowing it, you realize. Mm -hmm. yeah. He was only borrowing it. Yeah. He wasn't going to use it forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a three day rental for free. You got three days rent free. <laughs> on the weekend. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't on the weekend. All right, before the weekend. <laughs> Wednesday, Wednesday sundown to Saturday. Special deal, sundown. all right? <laughs> because he had done no violence, Mark 15, 3. Uh, that's where we need to start over again. Debbie, Mark 15, 3. Ralph, John 18, 38. Second Debbie, John 18, 11. Debbie, part two. <laughs> Debbie, part two. Yeah. Jeffrey, Matthew 20, verse 28. Andrea, Mark 16, verse 16. Chesta, John 12, verse 27. Because he had done no violence, Mark 15, 3. And the chief priests began to accuse him of many things. Go ahead. Then Pilate questioned him again. Are you not answering anything? Look how many things they are accusing you of. But Jesus still did not answer anything, so Pilate was amazed. He didn't do it. He didn't do anything. He didn't. He was then he was silent. Okay. Nor was any deceit in his mouth. John eighteen thirty eight. Pilate said to him, "What is truth?" And when he had said this, he went out again to the Jews, and said to them, "I find no fault in him at all." No deceit. Pilate even saw it. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. John 18, 11. Then said Jesus unto Peter, Put up thy sword to the sheep, the cup which my father hath given me, shall I not hear. He had to do it because the father said so. He has put him to grief. When you make his soul an offering for sin. Matthew 20, 28. Matthew 20, 28. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. He shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. Mark 16, 16. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. But he who does not believe will be condemned. So his seed is going to have a prolonged, prolonged days, right? If we're his seed, if we accept him, does our life get prolonged in, in a positive way? That's right. <laughs> yeah. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see the labor of his soul and be satisfied. John 12, 27. Now my soul is troubled and deeply distressed. What shall I say? Father, save me from this hour of trial and agony, but it is for this very purpose that I have come to this hour, this time and place. Rather, I will say, Father, glorify, honor, and extol your name. Then a voice came from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. Mm -hmm. The crowd of people who stood nearby and heard the voice said that it had thunder. This was when he was in the temple. And boom, God's voice spoke. And people heard it and thought it was thunder. Right before Passover. Yeah. No, that's right before the crucifixion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's pretty positive that God can do all the signs and wonders he wants. His voice came from heaven, and people thought it thunder. Yeah. They, they denied it. Their mouth yeah. was thunder. It wasn't. They didn't realize that they couldn't comprehend it. And they didn't do it for Jesus. He didn't do it for Jesus. He did it for the people. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, Debbie. Romans five. Verses 18, starting 18 and then 19. Ralph. Hebrews 9, 28. 
That'd be part two, Matthew 28, 18. Jeffrey, Luke 23, 46. Andrea, 2 Corinthians 5, 21. Chasta, Luke 23, 34. Read there, then. Okay. All right. So then. Wait, wait. By his knowledge, my righteous servant shall justify many. Go ahead. Romans 5, 18, 19. So then, as through one trespass, there is condemnation for everyone. So also through one righteous act, there is life giving justification for everyone. For just as through one man's disobedience, the many were made sinners, also through one man's obedience, the many will be made righteous. For he shall bear their iniquities, Hebrews 9.28. So Christ, <clears throat> so Christ was offered wants to bear the sins of many. To those who eagerly wait for him, he will appear a second time, apart from sin, for salvation. Hallelujah. Therefore, I will divide him a portion with the great. Matthew 28, 18. As Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. All power. Do you think that's going to make him great? <laughs> And he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he poured out his soul unto death. Luke 23, 46. Luke 23, 46. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And heaven said this, he gave up the ghost. And he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bore the sin of men. Second Corinthians 5.21. 2 Corinthians 5.21. For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. We get to be made righteous, just like Jesus. And made intercession for the transgressors, Luke 23, 34. Saying, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots, dividing his clothes among themselves. Even on the cross, he was interceding. For those who are transgressing against him. And that ends Isaiah 53. Is that a few key verses there? <laughs> okay. There are great crumbs. There are slices of bread. There are loaves of bread. This is a bread factory. Buttered bread. Buttered bread, okay. And Jesus is the bread of life. And he said that. Daniel 9. Turn to Daniel 9. And if you're doing actions, you'll never know. <laughs> oh. I don't know how long this is going to take. I meant to say this earlier, but I'm going to try to have this out here by five. Okay. <laughs> Daniel 9, is that right? You're doing good. Did you say Daniel 9? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we've got a little more to go, and I'm trying to get us out here by five. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, yeah, you want to stay till five? Okay. Right. I'm going to do my best. You tell I'm you. you. Don't tell us. us. I'm tell surprised you. you're going to stay till five. Kevin, Debbie, Ben Lucas back. We ain't staying till no See five o'clock. The balls come on at 3.30. I know. I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, you're going to go to 5, really? On the day I'm not supposed to put that back, I'm not saying. Oh, well, that's my little gag there. Yeah. We get an hour back tomorrow. <laughs> I want to that's say right. that at the beginning of this, but I forgot about oh, it. That's tonight. That's tonight. tonight. <laughs> okay. Meyer, do me, do me a favor. Okay. Back to the Peter. First Peter. First Peter 2.24. Go down to the bottom bar. Bring the bottom bar up. Everybody's so yeah. Jackson. Go to that cross right there. Uh, Rob, so that, see that blue circle of the cross on it? Jack, so it's can barely hear you. Down on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. The sixth one from the right is the blue cross on the bottom. Just hover up. 
No, that's not. We cross. There you go. Now, click on the the one on all, the up above it, all the way to the right. <coughs> that. Click on that. All right. Thank you. This is a bread factory. Okay. Now therefore and understand, this is uh, Daniel 9, 25, 26. Now therefore and understand that from the going forth of the command to restore and build Jerusalem until Messiah the Prince, there shall be seven weeks and 62 weeks. The streets shall be built again in the wall even in the troublesome times, in verse 26, and after the 62 weeks, Messiah shall be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince who is to come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. This scripture nails it specifically mm -hmm. when Messiah is coming to a T. Yes. It's right there. It's in the Old Testament. Daniel spoke it. And all they got to do is take a serious look at it. Mm -hmm. Because it says, Messiah's going to come and be cut off. That means put to death. Mm -hmm. But not for himself. Who did he come to die for? Us. For us. Okay? This is not the conquering king mm -hmm. that they're looking for. Okay? Now, it says seven weeks and 62 weeks. And when it speaks of that, it talked about how it was going to be that the Israelites were going to be sent to Babylon for 70 years. Okay? That 70 years punishment was for every time they failed to celebrate the year of Jubilee. Right. Which is the end of the last year of seven years. Mm-hmm. Okay, so 70 years, how long were they in Egypt? 480 years. 490 years. 490 years. Okay. okay, which is 70 times 70. Seven. Wow. 70 Jubilee years they failed to, to, to abide by, and so God sent them to Babylon for 70 years. What, Myron? Do you mean Jubilee year or the Jubilee Sabbath years. years? Jubilee year. No, well, the Sabbath year, I'm sorry, you're right. Jubilee the Sabbath Jubilee. years. The Sabbath years, okay? No, thank you. Thank you. It's the Sabbath years they failed to abide by. Right. To let their crops, you know, let their let fields the foul, let the land rest every seventh year. They failed to do that for 490 years, so God says, I'm going to redeem those years, and you're going to be in Babylon for 70 years. 